So if the filmmakers that reach out to you and they ask for advice on certain things, is that one of the things that you recommend to slow down a little bit? You know, I, th I think this era is one full of contradictions, right? And the, you know, the, what, what is that Einstein line or someone like the sign of intelligence is to be able to handle two conflicting I I ideas we're asked to do that all the time in filmmaking now. So I think the logical approach for uh, artists working today is on one hand to be incredibly prolific, ubiquitous, and thus radically collaborative. How do you have a generative life today when sustainability is such a question, right? Yet, because the barriers to entry, the cost of creation and distribution really have low, been lowered so much, we have this other uh, necessity. Just because we can make something doesn't mean that we should. Just because we can say something doesn't mean that we should. That you want your ideas to be able to percolate, to become something that is not just the collective unconscious, you know, that, that we're all thinking about these things, you know, we all get the same inputs, but how do you get your unique perspective on that in time is certainly the best way to do that. But you have to say to yourself, all right, I need to build my audience, I need to connect with a community, I need to move this all forward, go, 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 with that same sort of uh, piece of like, I need it to really stand out. There's so much. This is now the, the time of abundance. It means the bar has been lifted for everybody. We have to reach that much higher. And how are we going to do that when we're also being asked to be profoundly generative? When you look at a film made nowadays, can you see the ones that did take their time with certain things versus the ones that rushed where it's go, go, go? money's on the line and, and we can only get this person at this price for this long? It's hard. It's hard to, to say that because I think that the question of inspiration, where does inspiration comes from? You know, sometimes it comes from you just being right in the center of it. You know, necessity is the mother of invention and inspiration. <laughs> uh, other times I think it is that, that somebody has taken in a lot, contemplated, and really thought how to be additive uh, to that. I'm not sure that you can say like, oh, this is the, the great work, they clearly had the time, and this is the thing that just burst forth, um, and it's not as great, or maybe it's greater. Like, it's hard to see. Um, sometimes energy, you know, is pre-programmed, and sometimes it's just explosive.